Transformer fans, where are you at? Hopefully right here, tuning in to view this side-by-side -side comparison of the War for Cybertron Siege versus War for Cybertron Kingdom Ultra Magnus. So I have to say that Transformers has done an amazing job with this War for Cybertron trilogy, trilogy referring to the Siege, Earthrise, and Kingdom um, series, sub-series that have come out over the past couple of years. Um, we've seen some re-releases, um, you know, we've seen some early releases that have the battle damage, like we're going to go over here with Ultra Magnus, and then a more cleaned up Earth mode um, for some of the characters, which includes Ultra Magnus again, as we're talking about right here. So let's just launch right into it. I mean, you'll see that right off the bat that the uh, two figures in this mode are basically identical in size um, in terms of their overall length. When you have a look at their front mode on the uh, cab here, you'll see that's where kind of the big difference is. I'll just call it out right there. You've got this sort of like sleek, futuristic type of look, which is meant to represent his Cybertronian form. Whereas over here for the uh, Kingdom version, you've got kind of a more earthish, boxy type of a uh, cab look, something that's a little more traditional looking. You'll also realize on the Siege version here, he's got the two extra guns on the side. And as I pull them forward, for the camera here, you'll see that the uh, the main gun for the Siege version is more silvery, whereas this um, Kingdom one is more of a gunmetal type of shade. So when you look at, you know, the, the overall proportions of this thing, like I said earlier, they're the same. But looking at the back here, you see a little bit of battle damage on the Siege one, um, not so much on the uh, Kingdom version. But in this mode, they're almost, I want to say they're almost identical as far as the uh, trailer is concerned. Um, the one thing that that is worthy of note though is that when they released ultra magnus in his generation one form um, back in 1986 he was portrayed as a car carrier so you could stack other vehicles on his back or and on, on two levels of his trailer when he was in this mode you don't really get that feature here i mean unless i'm you know missing something i mean maybe you could you could put something inside there but you know how would how would it, it get back out it doesn't really roll out naturally but i guess in any case they're trying to portray something a little bit different here with the uh, modern version of this. So uh, that's the uh, quick and dirty overview of this um, mode, this uh, alt mode, truck mode of Ultra Magnus. I'm going to come back and we're going to look at the small uh, white cab robot mode and then we're going to finish things off with his full um, traditional robot mode that you see right here on the box. Looking over here at the uh, small robot mode of Ultra Magnus, you'll see that the uh, Siege one on the uh, left here is more of a cream color, whereas the uh, Kingdom one is more of a pale white color. So, again, we go back into the differences of the front just like it was when it was in the truck mode here. You'll see kind of a more Cybertronian futuristic design here on the front versus the more traditional Earth style sort of cab look that you've got on the Kingdom version. So um, when it comes to the Earthrise one, I thought there would be more battle damage on it, but there's not much. It's a little bit here on the legs, um, but not so much on the rest of the body. Now, when I do look at this mode, me personally, I think if it's on its own as a standalone figure, regardless of whether you're talking about this version or this version, I think it leaves a little something to be desired. Like, you look at it, it's a little bit boxy, it's a little bit plain, it's a very linear, very square type of look. Um, and I think that's just because the way um, it had to be engineered in order for him to go into his other two modes, I totally get it. You know, had, had he been a standalone figure, I would have totally expected him to have proportions a little bit more like the Optimus Prime here with the leaner leg, a little bit more balanced body structure, but I get what they were going for in terms of the overall package when they're trying to release this figure. So again, I just wanted to jump into this uh, very quickly with the uh, small robot mode. We're going to come back here in a second and we're going to look at the uh, full-on traditional looking robot mode of Ultra Magnus for both figures. Looking at a comparison here of the traditional robot mode that Ultra Magnus is usually presented in, you'll see here in terms of the overall proportions, the Siege version for some reason has narrower shoulder stacks here as opposed to the uh, Kingdom one which has that traditional very sort of like rectangular type of look which includes the uh, shoulder stacks in this case. The Siege version also has quite a noticeable amount of battle damage on the blue parts and a little bit on the... Uh, 
white shoulder stacks in the tops of the legs as well. And one thing I also notice here is if you look at his eyes, you look at the size of his eyes there, and you look at the size of the eyes on the uh, Kingdom version of the Ultra Magnus, the Kingdom one almost has like larger eyes that look a little bit more like a visor. So that, I thought that was interesting there that they uh, changed up the head scan. Um, I mean, either a head scan works well. I think this one looks a little bit more like his G1 counterpart. So, I mean, that's what I've always been biased towards. Uh, G1 has kind of always been my jam overall. The Siege version also has the uh, guns that I mentioned in the in, in the truck mode, but you, you can take them out and put them in his hands. I just fold them into the back here and clip them on. And uh, the Kingdom version does not have those same guns here. I'm not sure why they omitted that this time. I didn't think it added a whole lot to the Siege version, so I was okay personally with the, uh, with the omission. So um, overall, if you're asking me which one I prefer more, I'm not going to say that it's better, but I do prefer the uh, Kingdom version of this figure just because I am that much more um, ingrained in G1. Um, it's where I started. It's where a lot of us started, actually. Now, a lot of people like alternate looks of characters. I mean, Ultra Bang this has had a few different uh, interpretations of him. You know, he had the Robot in Disguise version. There's the uh, Transformers animated version that came with the large axe. There's the um, IDW version with a very sleek, sort of updated, like modernized look to it. But overall, I've always been partial to the um, traditional looking um, Generation 1 style. And both of these actually embody the G1 version pretty well. I just think that the Kingdom version takes it a little bit further, a little bit closer towards there. And of course, what they're going for with the Siege one is a more Cybertronian type look. So um, those are my final remarks as well. And as we close things off, let's just see how he scales with the uh, Earthrise Optimus Prime. I think it looks pretty good overall here. So anyway, those are my thoughts. That's my side-by-side -side comparison of Siege versus Kingdom Ultra Magnus. What do you guys think? Do you have a preference between the two? Do you buy both? Do you buy neither? Talk about it in the comments. Take care, and until next time, we'll see you again with some more toy content.